Hey DJ, welcome to this new section. In this lecture, we will talk about cue points and hot cues. You can use cue points to mark specific positions in your track. The suggestion is to use cue points at the beginning of each part of the song. So the intro, the main idea, the break, the main idea too, and at the beginning of the outro. With cue points, you can easily jump to a specific part of the song whenever you want and create live edit of the mix. Furthermore, you can even use cue points to bypass some parts of the song, creating some kind of radio edit from an extended mix. This technique is quite useful when you need to shorten the length of your track. In example, as we already said, when you play in a disco bar, it's better to opt for short tracks playback rather than club, where you can play extended versions. In this case, you can use cue points to cut specific position of your song, jumping from a cue point to another very easily. Be careful because even when using cue points, you need to respect the phrasing of the matrix, so always count bars and beats in your mind. To store cue points, we need to open the cue panel in the extend view of the track deck, where you can also manage loops even if you are not going to talk about loops right now. Note that the cue point and loop management panel is not available in Tractor LE2. If you are a scratch user, to enable cue buttons you need to temporarily switch the deck to internal playback. Each cue point or loop point can be assigned to one of the eight hot cue buttons. With hot cue buttons, you can have an instant access to your stored cue point and loop. To set a cue point, move the track position where you want to set the cue point and then press one of the eight hot cue buttons in the transport control panel. You can also assign a name to a cue point. Just click in the cue name display and then enter a name you want. I strongly suggest you to maintain a cue point order for each track of your collection. If you follow the same scheme on each track, it will be easier for you to manage cue points for all your tracks. Even if sometimes I do not use every available hot cue, I like to use a scheme that I try to follow for each song. In this specific, I used to set hot cue number one for the very first beat of the track. Hot Q 3 and 4 for the very first break of the track, if present. Hot Q number 5 and 6 for the second break of the track, usually the main break. Hot Q number 7 to shorten the length of the track, if possible. Hot Q number 8 at the beginning of the outro. Sometimes I also use Hot Q number 2 for the very first bit where the kick is present if the intro is too long without any kick. During the playback, you can skip to a stored cue by using one of the hot cue buttons. Note that the same cue point can be assigned to more than one hot cues at the same time. So, always double check stored hot cues before going live. If you need to delay the cue point, click the hot cue assigned to that cue and press the bin button. And now, before you create any cue point in your track, please wait to follow the lecture about the snap and quantize. So, now let's move on to the next lecture.